Do you want to pull your hair out? On this episode of Title Tuesdays. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your title king. Do you want to pull your hair out sometimes? Well, when I'm dealing with a real estate transaction, sometimes that's what I feel like I need to do. We're talking today about legal descriptions. We did a video several months ago talking about how to verify your legal description. And I wanted to talk about what is a legal description and why does it matter? As we've talked about on previous videos, the legal description is how a title company knows the property address. This is how we determine the boundary lines of the property. So if you want to learn more about this, subscribe below and continue watching this video. A legal description, could be short, could be long, is what explains the boundary lines of the property. It could tell us just a lot and a block within a certain subdivision. It could give us meets and bounds, which is a lot longer of a description, actually uh, explaining degrees and inches and feet and, and turns. But that is what a title company goes by in order to determine your legal description. Where do you get the legal description? The legal description is what was recorded on the original plat when the development was built. So how do you, as a client, get your legal description? Well, the first spot you can look at is your previous deed. The deed that when you purchased your property. So if you're the seller of a property, you can look at that previous deed and you will see your legal description. But I wanted to produce this video to tell you that that's not always accurate. We try and go back two to three deeds to make sure the legal description matches. We have been having so many problems with some of the different counties here when they record these legal descriptions that they're wrong. And now it takes someone new to catch the error that could be two or three deeds back. So do you wanna own the right piece of property? What I always suggest is getting a survey. You can reference a survey video as well, but that is basically a blueprint. Think about getting a blueprint of your property. That is an overview blueprint of your property. And I'll overlay a copy on here so you can see what it looks like. And that is going to tell us the legal description of your property. That is going to tell you the boundary lines of your property. That is going to tell you if the pool that you have or the pool you're looking to build has enough room without crossing the property line or going into a utility easement or some type of encroachment. That will tell you the fence line. That will tell you the driveway, if there's a right of way to get onto the property or not. There's a lot of things that a survey will tell you. And we have seen more and more survey claims from clients that have not chosen to get a survey at closing. It's very, very important. Why would you try and save a few hundred dollars to not order a survey to cause potential risk down the line? So if you are a buyer, I always suggest getting a survey because that is going to tell us the accurate legal description, that is going to give us the exact dimensions of your property, and if it's wrong, we now have somewhere to go. If we are just relying on a previous deed, we could have a problem. We do not go out and measure the property lines. Remember, title insurance covers the property, so the proper legal description will make sure you as the buyer will get the proper parcel of land. Very, very important. So I hope you learned something new today talking about legal descriptions. The moral of the story is always request a property survey from your title company. It's not worth to cut corners to save a few dollars to not have a property survey. We probably order them on about 40 to 50% of our properties. A lot of the investors choose not to order it, but I think it's very important for you to order. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. Don't forget to subscribe below. You need to like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, share this video on social media. This is how we get to educate the masses by you clicking the subscribe and share button. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO signing off, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.